Okay, now question number 63. You just look at the figure. There is an inclined plane and that finally ends into a horizontal plane. Both are rough and both the surfaces have same coefficient of friction which is mu. This point is P, this is Q, this is R and the inclined plane has an inclination of 30 degree. A block is released at this particular point and this block finally comes here and again comes to rest. Of course, friction is responsible for the same. Now, the energies lost by the ball over PQ and QR are equal. That means the loss in energy here and the loss in energy here, they are equal. That's the first information. And on the basis of this, we need to calculate x, x is this distance, and the coefficient of friction. So this is, again, I consider a short but a very tricky question, and all those facts are combined. You can start with work energy and friction. These things are very properly and wonderfully combined. Although the question doesn't require a heavy numerical solution however even in a small this is quite a nice question let's try to see this part the first thing is see the energies lost by the ball at these two tracks are equal that means the work done by friction here and here are equal work done by friction in this thing would be straightway minus of mu mg into this distance you can easily calculate by using all those cos theta and all and that would be equals to 2 by tan 30 and that work done is also equal to work done by the friction here and in both the case you know friction is only the agent which is dissipating the energy so therefore the energy lost is straightway work done by the friction and this has a simple calculation now this mu mg and mu mg gets cancelled so you get x as 2 by tan 30 tan 30 being 1 by root 3 you can put that value and this value of x comes very close to 3.5 meter. Now already these two options would be eliminated. Now I got to find whether this or this is correct the value of mu. Now there is a very close calculation associated so I have to solve very carefully and I need the value of mu now. I can straightway do starting from p till r in the segment of PR, if I use work done by friction would be change in kinetic energy plus change in potential energy. The normal reaction is of course there, but the work done by that is zero. Now see that delta K would be zero because the speed is zero here and initially it was zero as well. Work done by the friction. Now if I calculate this work done minus of mu mgx and even this would be same so multiplied by 2 and the change in potential energy is minus of m g height the height is 2. So this is also now a very simple calculation x has already been calculated here and put the value and you get the value of mu on solving I've done it so the value of mu comes to be 0 0.29 so with the given value of x and the given value of mu our option would be option number 2. So that was about question number 63. We'll go to question number 64. Okay, question number 64 from magnetism and a simple direct formula based question. There are two arrangements, arrangement A and B. This is a circle and this is a square. And both the arrangements carry identical current I. And BA is the magnetic field at the center here and BB is the magnetic field at this particular center. And you got to be careful with this part as well. Length of the wire is same. Now the value of BA by BB, as I said, a direct formula based question. First for BA, the magnetic field at the center would be mu naught I by 2R and of course, R would be L by 2 pi because L is 2 pi R. Now let's try to calculate the magnetic field at B. Now you got to understand, let me say that the side of the square is A. So to calculate the magnetic field, a direct formula based question, BB would be 
mu naught i by 4 pi this distance which is a by 2 sin alpha plus sin beta that would be 2 by root 2 and there are four such segments the magnetic field due to each segment would be in the same direction so ultimately the magnetic field would be four times and of course I got to put the L is equal to 4A L is the total length and that's same in case A and case B now here you get BA is here BB is here you just need to divide it and when you solve you get the value of the ratio to be option number 3 so as I said a direct formula based question was it so all you require is a presence of mind that was 